The hustle and bustle of bird life in the valley is a sure sign of the approach of the breeding season for many species. For marabou storks, it's already here. They usually pair for life, and this young male has come to find a mate. He's only four years old. It's his first breeding season, and he doesn't really know what he's doing. He's not quite as graceful as his crane cousins, or as attractive. He's going to have to impress if he wants to find a special someone. A stick to woo a mate with. It's a romantic gesture. Male storks present prospective partners with nest building material. A female's caught his eye. But she's not interested. His inexperience is showing through. When you have a 35 centimetre beak, picking up a twig isn't as simple as it seems. He's still got some learning to do. But there are plenty of other females to practice on. If he can keep his stick from his rivals. Finding a mate for life is a big decision. You need to really click. It's best not to rush these things. And there's always tomorrow. This male baboon has spent the night sleeping in an ebony tree on the edge of the Luangwa River. Even so, only 1% will make it to adulthood. Male crocodiles often have nothing to do with the raising of their young. He's too busy chasing other females. But when both parents have to invest equally into caring for their offspring, it pays to be faithful. For birds, this is often essential for a chick to survive. And as a result, 90% of all bird species are monogamous. For some, this loyalty lasts only as long as the breeding season. But for grey-crowned cranes, it lasts a lifetime. Every year, towards the end of the dry season, up to 400 come together in South Luangwa National Park, the largest gathering in Zambia. They've spent the winter months spread out through the valley, feeding in small groups. This pair has come to reinforce their bonds before the breeding season arrives. They do this by dancing. They dance year round, but in October, it's at its peak. It's an integral part of courtship, helping to get the pair in sync to breed in a month's time. They could be together for 19 years. Working as a pair, they'll raise up to four chicks and give them the best start in life. It'll take up to 100 days for the chicks to become independent and three years until the juveniles are ready to breed. Crowned cranes have their whole lives together to reproduce. And in that time, they could raise up to 70 chicks. <laughs> <laughs> 